If you love shortcuts to make your home more beautiful, more organized and cleaner, you're gonna love today's video. Hey there, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com. Whenever spring rolls around, I get the itch to do deep cleans in my home, to add some fresh decor items. So today I am going to bring you along with me as I do a little bit of organizing, cleaning, and decorating. And I'm gonna use my favorite shortcut home hacks to make all of this happen. We're gonna do a little bit of cleaning at our little lake house rental. We're gonna do a little bit of decorating and organizing at our own home. So let's get started. I love this organic shaped dinnerware that we have at our little lake house rental. It's so sturdy. However, it does get scratched after a few months of use. The best product I found to remove these scratches from dinnerware is Barkeeper's Friend. What I do is I rub some all over the plate and let it sit for about five minutes. And then I take a microfiber cloth and just rub that away. It removes all of those scratches from silverware, from cutlery on my plates. Believe me, I have tried so many different methods. I've tried baking soda, lemon juice, vinegar, but the Barkeeper's Friend is the product that works the best to remove all of these gray colored scuffs and scratches. So here is what the plate looks like before, and here's what it looks like after I rub that Barkeeper's Friend all over. And the microfiber cloth definitely helps it because it has a little bit of grip, so it gets all of the scratches off. When I'm done, I just wash the plates in the dishwasher. Here's the original half of the plate with all the scuff marks, and here's the half that I cleaned with Barkeeper's Friend. Barkeeper's Friend, before, before, after. Works so well. This is the same product that I use for my white ceramic sinks. So I have one at my home. I also have one at our little lake house rental and it gets all those scuff marks out and makes the white ceramic stay super shiny and gorgeous. If you wanna create a beautiful no sew pillow for spring, take a sort sew mat from Ikea or really any small cotton mat. I learned this hack from KJG Home on TikTok. I will leave a link to the original video down in the description box below. Fold the bottom of the mat over like this and the top over like this. This way you're gonna be able to see both of the fringed edges on the finished pillow. And then just use some fabric glue inside your hot glue gun. I will link to the fabric glue that I use in my hot glue gun and place it on the edges of the pillow just like this press the pillow firmly together and then hot glue one end of the pillow you can also sew it however I find that the fabric glue really does work in the glue guns and then I just hand wash the pillow after now I'm just taking some upcycled fiber fill and placing this inside of the pillow once it's stuffed to the way that I like it I'm just using more of this fabric hot glue and gluing the final end shut this is a really simple way to create a beautiful textured pillow for spring. And I always love how neutral color textured pillows look with any other color and pattern of pillow on my couch. I think it looks so cute for spring and it's so easy to make. Often my sheets will ball up in my dryer just like this, so they have an extremely wrinkled look, which I don't prefer, especially when I'm making the beds at my vacation rental. So the hack here is to take a washcloth and get it nice and wet, squeeze out most of the excess moisture, and then place your sheet back in the dryer, place the cloth inside, and then run it for about 20 more minutes. This is great if you don't have a steam dryer. This works very similarly. Once the 20 minutes is up, you can take the cloth out, the sheet out, and as you can see it looks so much better the wrinkles are almost gone and when I make the bed you can see that the sheet looks fantastic Now, if you forget to do this and you have some wrinkles on your sheet or your duvet cover after you've made your bed, you can also take a damp cloth and just kind of wipe down the sheet or the duvet cover just like this. This is a great hack if you don't have a steamer or an iron on hand. Take a blow dryer if you have to and your sheets look nice and crisp and lovely.
You know I love to use a turntable in my fridge. I've used ones from Dollarama before. However, I recently found a new product and this one is from Ikea. It's a turntable, you can place it in your fridge. However, it's rectangular in shape, so it doesn't waste as much space as the round turntable does. It's quite easy to put together. It has a base, it has suction cups that suction right to the fridge, which is super handy. And then it has that top that spins around. So it basically comes out and then spins and goes back in. Shape is so good for the top of my fridge. So it's a good spot for the upper left of my fridge. I can place my jam jars, my leftovers, whatever I want here. Makes everything so much more easy to access and it fits perfectly in a fridge. So many of you ask about how I clean my faux plants. I like to use them in my rentals because I don't want to ask my guests to take care of live plants. One quick way is to use a blow dryer again and you can blow dry all of the dust off the plants. That works pretty easily, but I also like to use fabric softener sheets. And what you can do with these is rub all the leaves front and back with the dryer sheets. And I find that this actually repels the dust and makes it a lot easier to keep these faux plants in my rentals, in my home, dust free. So I only have to do this about once a year and it seems to be effective. I also use these dryer sheets on the top of my baseboards, just rub them along the baseboard to help repel dust. If you have a cutting board like this with little feet on either side, this one is from Ikea. You can also find similar ones from Amazon. I will link them down in the description box below. They are actually the perfect thing to put on the arms of a sofa. And what I like to use mine for is to place my cup of coffee on top. And this way I can do some work on my phone, I can cuddle my cat, and then I have a spot for my coffee where it's not going to spill. If you want to make your home smell elegant and fresh for spring, try a summer pot. I do these a lot in the winter and the fall, but this spring one is a really nice twist on the traditional winter one. Place some lemon slices and then a little bit of dried lavender in a pot of simmering water. Add a little bit of dried or fresh rosemary and the scent is so fantastic. It makes my house smell fresh, smell clean, and makes me feel ready for spring. Thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope you found these home hacks and ideas helpful. Let me know down in those comments below which of these hacks was your favorite. I would love to know. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more DIY and decor ideas on a budget. I'm gonna leave some more videos for you to watch next right up here.